Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is um, a shopping bag template and I'm going to be doing this as an LV inspired bag. Um, so I've, I've already done this for a girls brunch and tested it out to make sure that it works really well. So let's go ahead and get into some of the specifics of the bag. I did do two different colors for you guys so you know the difference between the front and back. This is going to be the front that has the notch and that has the full rectangular front. The back is going to be the darker color and it has the line across the bottom. That's essentially where you're going to fold it if you want to like maybe ship them flat or give them to your clients or whatever you want to do. If you want them to be flat um, at some point, the back is going to allow you to fold them down. Then of course you have your holes for your ribbon. Um, these lines will remain as cut lines. However, if you decide that you want to actually turn them into square lines, you're just gonna click here and go to the lines right here. And that'll allow you to make it into a square line. The reason why they're a cut line is because it was much easier to fold the large bag, especially with the cut line. For each bag, um, you're going to need to go to ungroup and ungroup, and then you're gonna attach the lines to the bag. Same with this one, attach. Now, for the larger bag, each of these are gonna be one sheet of cardstock, and then these will have to be a separate sheet of cardstock. So essentially for the larger bag, you're gonna need three pieces of 12 by 12 cardstock. It's a pretty large bag, like 11 inches by seven inches. Um, I have the sizes on each one, so you know you know kind of what you're dealing with. Um, this one, again, you're gonna need to ungroup, ungroup, and then attach the lines to the bag. So for the medium size bag, this will fit one 12 by 12 cardstock and one by one 12 by 12 cardstock. So essentially this will be two sheets and this one will be one. But all of the lines do need to be attached to the template so that the lines will cut out. Okay. At any point you can change the colors of your template to match whatever color cardstock. Uh, I just have it like this initially just so you know the difference between the front and the back. So if I wanted you know, to go here and uh, change the color of all of them, I could. What I'm going to end up doing is attaching these and duplicating. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do uh, two of these on one sheet. I still do need the bottom pieces, so this will cut on a second sheet. The font that closely resembles the LV font is called Futura. Um, I got mine from Adobe Fonts, but they do have other places that you can get it. There are some differences, but they're very subtle. But if you're gonna want to write something else on the bags, then this would be the one that closely resembles the LV font. So happy birthday, whatever the case is, you can write it out in that same font. You can also do letter spacing so that the spacing is very similar to the original logo as well. If you already have experience using the pen attachments on the Cricut, like adding a marker, that way it could just write it out for you, that would probably work really well. Instead of having to use adhesive vinyl or heat transfer vinyl to apply it onto the cardstock after it's cut. In terms of sizes uh, for wording, this one would be about six inches. This one across would be about 4.5 and this one about three inches across. Make. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and I think when I did, when I did this for my brunch group, I had to make 15, I believe. And I just did, that would be 
roughly about 11 sheets of cardstock to make 16 bags, small bags. Let's go to continue, medium cardstock setting. So on the ones that I did, I added the name of each guest. I added a bow. For the bows, I did do a wider ribbon. And for the larger bags, I did a wider ribbon. Um, I did a bottle of wine with the same sort of color scheme. Um, my friend, she got bracelets. I did these little um, wine stoppers. And I also did, um, and we also did chocolate, some Ferrero Rochers. So yeah, so that was for the small bags. I'm gonna show you guys the big bags. So this is the large one. And I'm gonna put a ruler up to it so you guys can see. So it is roughly about 11 inches yep, about 11 inches and seven inches wide this one eight inches a little over eight inches and a little over five now I did adhesive vinyl with this um, but like I said, you could use a pen, you could use um, heat transfer vinyl. I'll show you how I did mine, which really was only with um, some masking tape. I just wanted to go over with you guys um, some of the things that will fit in the bags. So, crossbody, the same little bracelet that I got in the small bag, water, lotion, the larger one. And there's still quite a bit of space in there. So this one can fit um, a bag, but obviously when you buy a bag, you already get a Louis Vuitton bag. But you know, if you ha had something that size, then it would fit. <clears throat> it just won't fit with all the other stuff in it. So you can get a water, you can get the bottle of wine. Um, the same little bracelet lotion probably won't fit but yeah so you pretty much can get um, the same things from the small bag adding 
some water and maybe a few other small trinkets. Outside of that, you're probably gonna be struggling for room. This one obviously fits the most, but it is pretty large. This can also be used for like centerpieces and stuff like that. So that's also another option. But if you have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.